Hello, welcome back. Uh, let's assume that we have a view and view name is emp underscore dpt underscore view. It is based on three tables, employee department and sal grade and we have an where clause, one order by clause. And then if you see the, the value of this view and then if you do a select star from this thing, we are going to get this six rows. Okay, so the question that I'm asking you here is that can you up update the employee number 7839 and employee name for the employee uh, ID 7839 should be updated to something else. Let's say to ABC. Okay, so what are you going to do? You're going to basically then you're going to give this update statement, update EMP department, and say the value to ABC. Okay, and if I'm going to uh, run this thing, it is going to give me an error something like this that cannot modify a column which maps to a non key preserved table. If you remember on the on your view uh, videos, there are some conditions on which you, you can update the views. However, if you have your views containing any of this thing, okay, any of this thing, then for example a group by, a order by, or a, a join, okay. So these are the these are the condition on which you cannot update your view, okay. And that is a reason why we are seeing an error here. When we are trying to update this view, we are seeing an error because we do have a order by clause here. The question here is, how can you update the view? And that is where you have a new trigger that is called instead of trigger. Okay, so that instead of trigger is going to help you in updating this kind of scenario. Okay, and let me just uh, show you how to write that trigger. Okay, so here is instead of trigger. So basically, what we are saying that uh, we are creating a trigger called am underscore something, and then what we are doing is this is important. The the triggering point or the event here is instead of update on what on this emp underscore dpt view. So whenever we are trying to update emp underscore dpt view, then what we are going to do we are going to update the underlying table because our goal here was to update the employee name of 7839 so the goal here is to update this king to kkk okay so and then essentially what we are doing by this trigger by this m underscore update view trigger what we are doing is we are internally updating the base table emp and this is how you are going to uh, update the view the read only views and the read only views uh, if it's not a read-only views, then you don't really need any trigger, and that is where you have to you have to write a instead of trigger. Okay, so, and this is what I'm showing you here. And now let's say if I uh, like now run this thing, and now let's let me just try to run this update. But now I have the trigger in place. So whenever I'm updating this EMP DPT view, then what happening is this trigger is up, is, is triggered, and in this trigger this is the action item that is being executed and in the action item what we are saying is that employee num name is new employee name and then employee number is equal to new employee number okay so if this is a thing that if you want to run this thing now so it says that one row updated and if I'm going to see my view so this is my view uh, sorry this is my view where select star from EMP DPT and if I run this thing I should sorry so if I run this thing, I should see this thing updated to ABC. And this is the use of instead of trigger.